Happy fall, y'all! Happy fall, y'all! It's your girl Tina, Her Life Sparkles, and I am back today with a fall try on. A big, huge thank you to my friends over at Venus.com because they have sponsored this video. So that means all of the looks that I'm going to be sharing with you are brought to you by Venus. If you are not subscribed, not familiar with my channel, make sure you hit that button and turn your notifications on so that you are in the know whenever I upload anything new. But back to Venus, they are a women's online clothing brand. They have clothes, shoes, accessories, you name it, they have it. And what I love the most about Venus is that they are both affordable and size inclusive. They have sizes two to 24. So if you need it, they got it. And I am going to be linking everything that I show you guys in the description box, show you ladies in the description box. So if you use those links to shop Venus, you can get 20% off site wide. So you want to make sure that you use those, link use those links if you see anything that you love. I've shopped with Venus a few times over the years. Probably one of the most noteworthy pictures that you might remember was when we did our beach photo shoot this last, last summer. So I'll put the picture up here, but it was like a blue lace off the shoulder dress. It was very beautiful. That dress was from Venus and a few other pieces, but I figured you might remember that one. So I'm showing you anyway. It's fall, so I want to show you some bomb fall pieces that I got from Venus. They have I got some date night pieces, I got some everyday wear pieces, I got some staple pieces. So without further ado, let's get to the looks. <laughs> Look, this pink sweater. Listen, when I saw it online, I immediately knew that I needed it because the lace detail or the cutout detail, should I say, is kind of a bit of both. And then the turtleneck. Is it fall without a turtleneck? And I'll just give you a close-up because these earrings are also from Venus. They are a very nice like gold pearl drop combination, which I don't know. I just love dangly big earrings, and especially because my hair is always like big or long. So I want to make sure that you can still see the earring. And I really love that about them. They pair really well with this sweat, this turtleneck and a couple of other looks. But yes, they have it all. But this sweater, I loved it. Especially the color is like, it's not like spring pink it's like a very pale soft pink so it was great for fall and i paired it with this medium wash jegging and these are like a bum lifter kind of jean so they stretch and i mean baby they stretch so the only thing i have the only not great feedback i have is that i got them in a 12 which is typically my size well i guess i'm kind of in between sizes so if you're in between sizes like me right now and you're gonna do the bum lifter jean, go a size down because when I say they stretch, they stretch. Otherwise, they are soft, they are comfortable. And then I love having them in the medium wash because you can wear them with dark shirts, light shirts, anything, and they should still go really well. So I did love the 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 um the feel of the jean. I just needed a size down for them to fit like perfectly. I paired them with these super cute slouch booties because much like turtlenecks booties and fall just go together um i love that they have the peak toe because it makes it like a great transition shoe as we're just entering into fall as you can see like my toes are still white so you can still see like the detail of my, my pedicure or whatever and then i love the slouching detail on the side of the boot i don't know they just they were just super cute and they really caught my attention so much so that i got them in brown and in black i'll show you the black one in a few more um down the line because I wore it with another outfit, but I just thought that they were a great shoe. They're pretty comfortable. I know sometimes peak toe can be like troublesome, but I did not have that issue at all. It's about a four inch heel, so it's not super high. They're great for like day wear or night wear if you're going out on a date or out with the girls or something like that. But I just thought this look was like the very, a very good like sweater booty combination for like just a, a everyday look. Yeah, yeah. Like I can go to the PTA, a PTA meeting or something in this and be, or one of my son's football games and, and be fine. So next look, I got a sweater dress. I don't remember the last time I wore a sweater dress, but when I saw this, I had to have it too. And I, the detail of the sweater, um, the sleeves are just like traditional sweater sleeves. But then when you look at the body part of the dress, it's like this is a very nice like cable knit detail. And 
because I haven't worn a sweater dress in a while, I forgot how much stretch they typically have. Like the fabric is, fabric is very forgiving. So I got this in a large. I probably could have been okay in a medium, but I'm not mad at the large either because it's not super tight. I can eat and not feel like it's just like hugging me, squeezing me, anything like that. And um, it's not super short. So it's appropriate for like, I don't know, wearing to the office, wearing to class, wearing to like a PTA meeting kids sport events or something or a sports banquet or whatever you might be doing a, br a brunch a, a date night like it's a very versatile piece depending on how what kind of shoe you put with it it can go great for day wear or night wear um I might get it swapped out for a medium but again I'm I'm not mad at the large either but you can see it it stretches it stretches but I really loved it beyond that so if you haven't had a good sweater dress in a while, this is a good one. And then I paired it with that same brown booty because the colors just complement each other incredibly well. And like I said, this this booty is probably, this one and the black one will probably be staples for me this fall because you can just pair them with so much. They are a very versatile piece and they, they do well for day or nightwear. So that is look number two. And I kept the same earring on with these as well because they just look good together. Okay, so look number three is where, you know, I got a little bit dramatic. It might have been my favorite look because it's like, it's definitely like a, oh, check me out. It was this gray brooched peplum top that has like the flare sleeve. So it's just all the drama is in this top. Like before you even see anything else, it's so much drama in this top. I love that it's fitted, but it still has the flare. So you don't have, to, like if you have mom tum or anything like I do, you don't have to be worried about it being too form fitting. You can still eat and still be cute and still be comfortable. <laughs> I'm always talking about food, but I'm always eating. So I wanna be sure that I'm still gonna feel like my best even after I have something to eat. And I'm like, my tummy is not gonna be all poked out or anything like that. And then I love how dramatic the flare of the sleeve. Um, not so much so that they hide your entire hand or anything, but just it's a very statement piece kind of top. So I really love that. It will pair wear with it will pair well with jeans, but I did pair it with a um a faux leather jegging. So um I just, I just thought it looked good together, especially with this boot baby, like can we get into this? Can we get into this boot? Because as soon as I saw it, I was like, yes, I need it. Snake skin, thigh print, what's not to love? Um, well, and I'll be honest and say the only thing that's not to love about this boot is the fact that it does not, it does not have a zipper on the side, on the back, anywhere. There is no zipper. So if you have concerns about being able to get your foot or your calf into it without the zipper, that is a reality for this boot. But otherwise, I have a fairly small calf and ankle, so I was able to get it on just fine. But I know some 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 of us have that issue with larger calves and not really being able to do um, knee high or thigh high boots for that reason. But do not fret, I'm gonna show you the same outfit without this, this thigh high boot, just so you can see how cute it can be even without this boot. Um, the only so that would probably be the only downside to this boot otherwise i absolutely loved it um and that it did not run true to size the brown booties that i showed you before i forgot to mention that they were true to size i am typically a seven and a half and that's what i got in those i got a seven and a half in these and i wish i yes i got a seven and a half in these but i do i would prefer an eight they were lit my toe was at the top so these run about a half size small so my recommendation would be to go up but otherwise they say I'm sexy and I know it. <laughs> I really, really, really love these. So I'll I'll have to run these back a couple of times this fall. So if you're looking for like a nice statement boot and you don't have the concern about your calf sizes, um, and they might have the the specs and the dimensions on the website just before you go through the process of ordering them. But this this is a looker. It's definitely gonna draw some attention. In the event that you don't want to do the snakeskin boot, bam. This black slouch booty will still do the trick. The um, the faux suede against the faux leather gave like lacks of texture. It's still black, so black is always a good idea. So it still gave like that, that I'm here, I'm still making a statement, I'm still feeling sexy today. So I really love that about this outfit. It was versatile enough that you could put almost any shoe with it, but the shirt has so much drama. 
that the the shoe matters, but it doesn't. The shirt can 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 carry the drama for you. So if you don't want to do the snake the snake print boot, you can still do the black slouch booty or some other black booty that they have because they had so many. It was hard to choose, but this still works honey so yes that is look number three okay so look number four back to another sweater it is this maroon ribbed side like shoulder cut out snap button this i'm probably butchering the name i'm gonna put it in the description box but it's an open shoulder snap button detail rib sweater in the perfect color there's something about like maroon and brown that just scream fall to me so i'm gonna be wearing these colors a lot this summer this fall <laughs> i'm gonna be wearing this color a lot this fall but i really loved it um it fit well it's very it's a very lightweight sweater so is this pink one it's a very lightweight sweater so it's not um it's not super heavy so it's it's light enough that you could still wear a nice jacket or something over top of it and not feel like you're just gonna burst into flames because you're so hot so i did love that it paired really well with this what did i have it with these distressed jeans i love distressed jeans and i love skinny jeans those two are probably always going to be a thing for me it's going to be hard to get me into anything else but what i really loved about these is that the, the rip detail is like it's noticeable but subtle enough that it's not just like why does she have all those holes in her pants because sometimes you can put on like a distressed denim and then once you put your leg in, it's like, gosh, that hole is really big. I was like, if I wanted to wear shorts, I would have just worn shorts. That was not what I was going for. So I did not get that vibe with these jeans. You can still see that they're distressed, but they're still very much jeans. And these were two to size. I got a size 12 in these. Did not have any issues with the fit, with them being oversized. So I think that the bum lift, lifter jean just has like some extra stretch to it, but these i did not have that issue with this it's a jegging i did not have an issue with this jegging at all so i thought the two paired really well together and then i just put it with the brown booty again because like i said they're gonna be my best friends this fall so i wanted to work as many looks as possible with it just so you guys can see how versatile they are so that is look number four and then fifth and final look last but certainly not least is this black floral midi dress it's not um, a bandage dress but it is kind of form-fitting the material is very soft very breathable but it and it does have a good bit of stretch to it so this much like the sweater dress that I had if you are like in between sizes or because and that and the fact that clothes just tend to stretch a bit after you've had them on I would have sized down in this. You can see like here in the little video how forgiving it is and how much extra material I have. So I got a large. I could have been okay with the medium. Um, so if you're in between sizes, you can go ahead and size down with this one. I was unsure about it because it was fitted, but it really fits. It fits nicely. It's not one of those things where I just felt uh, self-conscious in. And I really loved how vibrant the flowers were. And I was super excited when I realized that the, a purple lipstick that I had was like the purple match for the purple flower. But this is another one of those that um, would be a great date night look. And I didn't think about it at the time that I was ordering it. But if you pair this with like a long form cardigan and still keep the booty, that is probably going to be a great look. So I'll have to get um like a, a floor length cardigan to pair with this as well. But I loved it. I really did. And um, it was one of those. It was another one of those. It's like, you know, you can be cute. You can be fierce without trying too hard. And it paired really well again with this black booty so yeah i'm gonna black and brown booty myself to death this fall but they just make a great um what's it say they're a staple they're a staple for me this fall <laughs> so yeah we're done those are the five looks that i got from venus.com so this concludes my fall haul if you have a favorite look or a look that you plan on trying to to dupe let me know down in the comments um if this was beneficial to you and you had not heard of venus before let me know in the comments um if you there was a question that i did not quite answer about the fit or the shape or the size of something let me know so that i can get you the information that you need so that you can order but thank you so 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 much for watching um Give me a thumbs up because that gives me everything I need to keep doing more videos like this. And I will see you all next time. Bye.